Plum here, g'day champions, how's it going? And welcome back to this week's Fender Reset, the greatest on the interweb. It's January 16th and today's Vendor video will cover my top picks, hot ticket and interesting items and must buy gear for the week. But champions, this week there's nothing special, average at best. However, I did manage to find a few items and we're going to get straight into it and check those items out. Starting at the countdown vendor this week where we've got the Invisible Hands, the Anarchist Cookbook and the Matador. The Anarchist Cookbook's not a bad one, we've got Max Armor and it's got solid regen. The Matador unfortunately, it's trash, sorry. Marco at the Haven's got a Wyvern Wear Backpack, it's got a Skill Tier, Status, Skill Haste and Bloodsucker. You could definitely re-roll that talent to whatever you like, but me personally, I'd keep it and roll on skill damage. This would be a nice one on a little skill hybrid build. At the White House, we've got my top pick item for the week, and it's the Zero F's chest. It's got good armor, crit hit chance, and perfectly unbreakable. Roll the explosive resistance to crit hit damage, regen, or just keep it. And down the list a little bit, we've got a Badger backpack. Again, it's got good armor and crit hit chance. The regen attribute's pretty nice on this one, but I love it for the galvanized talent. This is amazing in both PvE and PvP and works great with the Scorpio. Haven't tried it before? Grab it and give it a go. Now all the stuff at the clan vendors, very mediocre. The best thing that I can see is this 11% protection from Elite's mod. 13% is the max, and yes we did have a 12% one last week, so if you did miss out on that one, make sure you grab this one I guess. At the theater settlement we've got the mop. This is a great gun for armor on kill. The shotgun damage and damage to armor is a little bit on the lower side and the talent's gotta go. Instinct just isn't that good anymore. The campus settlement's got this okay Grupo mask. This one's gonna be very easy to make a double crit for a DPS build. Heading on over to DZ West where we've got the Harmony. This is a DZ exclusive item. It's not a bad secondary one on a skill build, especially when paired with the capacitor. But do keep in mind that this one will cost you 152 DZ resources. DZ East this week has the Nightwatcher Mask. I like this one because it does have decent armor and nearly max armor regen. Gil is getting a big rework next update and it's looking like the three piece bonus will be 3% regen. So this could be a cracker of an item. And lastly down the list we have this Yal Holster, nearly max armor and headshot damage. I know that there's been a ton of players messing around with hazard protection and headshot damage builds lately, so that's going to be perfect for it, but only if you've got the spare DZ resources. So that's going to wrap it up for this week's Vendor Reset Champions, if you're interested in the daily targeted loot, it is on your screen now. Thanks for tuning in and make sure that you show your support by smashing the like button on this video, and if you're not already, please subscribe. Everyone's support is always greatly appreciated, and I hope to catch you all in the next one, I'm Plum, Plum out.